What's up everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Fossils and Archaeology. Today I'm doing a little special episode. I'm going to be basically showing you how to install Fossils and Archaeology for Minecraft 1.3.2 or Fossils and Archaeology version 6.9. P-3, so I don't really know what the P-3 is about, uh, you know, whatever, it's in their version number, but just getting straight into it right now, if you link, look in the links in the description, you'll find three links, and a, also a written out guide on how to do this, if you don't understand my voice, you think I'm stupid at talking, whatever, you could just read the written out guide, it'll tell you all the same things I'm going to right now, but, so basically, I have three links, the first link will be for WinRAR, the second link will be to this page I'm looking at right now, which is the Fossils and Archaeology Forum post on the Minecraft forums, and it's going to link you to directly to the installation part of the forum so you know just a little easier for all of you to navigate and find it and you're also going to find this page which is the uh, minecraft forge website where you could download minecraft forge and uh, you know that's what's required to play fossil and archaeology so assuming you have this all i recommend you download winrar for this if you already have another one i mean 7zip some other things right there i'm going to be using winrar in uh you know this installation tutorial but you could use whatever you'd like if it works for you so, right off the bat, I mean, you're obviously going to need Minecraft to get this, and you're going to want to be able to locate your Minecraft, you know, app data folder, or not app, your .minecraft folder, which is located in app data. So, if you're on Windows, you could just jump in here and type run. Again, this is only a Windows installation tutorial. So, you're going to just click on the start menu and type run, and then you should get this little di dialog that pops up, if I could talk. And what you're going to do is type in percent app data percent. Again, if you do want, don't want to mess it up, there will be something in the description on how what to type in. So you can just copy and paste that. Hit OK, and you'll come open to here. And uh, you're going to want to open .minecraft. It'll be in this folder right here. If you could want to just navigate to this folder, it might be different for you. As all your name isn't Jason, so that's why. So you're going to open this up and. Right now, this is, you'll see some various things in here, whatever, but you're going to want to use this later on. So I just recommend opening this up right off the bat since we're going to need that later on. So we can minimize that. And now we have these two things. I recommend in case you have a slow download speed right off the bat, just let's uh, just download these. I mean, we're going to need them either way. So all you're going to do on this one is just click latest version download. You're going to come up with this uh, thing. You're just going to click skip ad in the top right corner. I already have it downloaded, so there's no point in me downloading again. And here on the Minecraft Forge website, in order to get the proper version, you're going to click on releases right off the bat. And uh, right here, it says main forge download September 8th. You're going to click on that. And as it loads very slowly, and then here we have, you have two builds, you have the recommended and the latest for this, you, you should download the recom recommended build, this is the tested build that's a, you know, just kind of reliable, and when you get to this page, you'll see two things, just download the Minecraft Forge Universal, and uh, that is exactly what I'm using in this, uh, you know, little tutorial. So, now that we got that done, we can minimize both of those, and uh, now we are on my desktop, I know it's very beautiful, and these are two files you should have downloaded, uh, again, these, if you, it looks like a little bookcase thing there, that's WinRAR itself. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up Minecraft itself. So hopefully you know how to, you know, open up your own Minecraft and stuff. You have a link to it. So here's my Minecraft. And one thing I recommend doing off this right off the bat is to make sure you have a clean Minecraft. If you know what you're doing, odds are you're, and you're not going to need to watch this, but hit options, force update. And it, that'll basically just wipe out your Minecraft jar and all that. Anything, any crap in there, you know, you could do whatever with. So you should do that and hit login. Or if you're updating, you know, or just updating, you can, when you hit yes, it'll do the exact same thing. So you don't have to do that twice if it's uh, prompting you for a new update. So now I am on Minecraft 1.3.2. But now we can get out of Minecraft. Hit, just hit quick game real fast. And now we're going to bring up the .minecraft folder. So now with these two files you downloaded, you're going to want to open up the Minecraft Forge Universal file. So once you open that up again, this is with WinRAR. If you're actually, I have it set to do that automatically. So what you might have to do is do open with and then WinRAR Archiver or Archiver, however you want to say it, whatever. But uh, you may have to do that. It does the exact same thing. And then you're going to get this little thing here. So what you can do is either highlight them all or what I like to do is just do hit Control A real fast. And then when you could go into your bin and you could, you'll see a file called Minecraft.jar. Yours will be a jar file with Java and all that. What you're going to want to do on that is either, it's probably for you, right? click open with WinRAR archiver and uh, you know now you have this open so right off the bat for any modding thing what you're going to want to do is delete meta inf I always recommend that you know you don't want to have any problems with that that just causes problems all the time I can't tell you why it just does so now all you're going to do is with your highlighted things in here just drag and drop them in the other folder into your minecraft.jar and then you'll get prompted with this little thing and just hit ok and that's it that's simple now you have minecraft forge installed so now we can just x out uh, of both of these as we are done with them and uh, now what it, 
it is recommended to do is actually open and you know run your Minecraft once, let Forge install. Forge will do its little thing, and uh, as you can see there, Forge is doing its thing right there. And now, as you can see, you have Minecraft Forge installed, and you have a f another a new thing, and you could uh, check installed mods, stuff like that. And uh, that's it. So now we're gonna hit quick game, and now we're gonna go back to this dot Minecraft folder, and you're gonna go into the actual core directory of dot Minecraft, and you're gonna find a new folder here called mods. So you're gonna go into the mods folder, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna drag and drop mod fossil into here. So that you can also, if you wanted to, if you open up this, you don't actually ever have to open this if you don't want to, but you can also drag, like copy and paste all of these files out of here into a regular folder and just name it mod underscore fossil. But I just think this one's easier it works just the same way by doing it like this so all you're going to do is that and now you're going to run minecraft and uh, log in and now it's going to forge is going to do its little thing again and that if anyone's wondering that's fraps and uh, now you have my oh oh clicking off the wrong thing but now you have fossils and archaeology installed on your minecraft so it was that simple just to prove it to you all I, I will create a new world so we just throw it on creative real fast and we could just do world type super flat create new world and uh, as you can see all here right if we go into here search items this is the easiest way i find for fossils and archaeology since they're all organized together here are all the fossils and archaeology things so we got some eggs of a petros play play don't quote me i'm not good at quoting we have a scarabax all this wonderful stuff so you can you know, lay down some eggs if you want just spam your world but yeah so thank you all for watching that is how you install you know minecraft forge version 6.9 p-3 for minecraft 1.3.2 and yeah you know thanks for watching a quick easy little tutorial video and uh you know if you do enjoy the series i have a whole let's play running of this game and we're about to update to 1.3.2 in the let's play so oh my god they just jumped in the air but uh yeah so thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time.